Welcome back. You know, if you come from German heritage, you may already know all about St. Martin's Day. But if you aren't or you don't, listen up. As Karen, Karen's Horse Connection is celebrating that holiday with a play, a parade, using real horses that guests can get up close with, too. Karen's on the line with us this morning to share more. Good morning, Karen. How are you? Good morning, Todd. I'm fine. How are you? I'm well. Thanks for asking and thanks for joining us. Can you tell us more about the holiday itself for those who don't know about St. Martin's Day? Well, it's it's all it's a holiday. It's my favorite holiday. It's celebrated all over Germany. Uh, so Martin of Tours was born in the fourth century and started out as a Roman soldier before he found Christianity and became a monk. He was announced a saint because of his exemplary way of life that was all about sharing and caring. So he was for a other people. Got it. He's uh, a and the most famous tale about him tells how he cut the cloak in half. Uh, in order to share it with a beggar. What did he but, cut? He, I'm he sorry, your phone cut out there for a second, and Karen. This is what we are playing with our horses. <laughs> I'm sorry, Karen, I talked over you there. You said he cut something to share with the poor. What was he, what was he cutting? His cloak. His cloak? Oh, he was riding in the dark, and then he came, uh, you know, he saw this beggar sitting on the side of the road, freezing to death, and he stopped his horse and got off, and took his cloak and his sword and cut it in half and gave half of it to that beggar. Wow, that's amazing. So this really, this saint is really the story of uh, a transformation of someone who might have been uh, a more of an aggressive, mean person into a caring and giving person, uh, St. Martin. And so we have a parade, we have a play with real horses. How, how does this all work when we get, when we get there? Well, um, it's, it starts at 5.30, I think, and it goes uh, into the night. We wait until it's dark, and then uh, the, the place takes place in our big um, arena, horse riding arena. That's a covered outdoor arena. Okay. And so then, the, yeah, it's, uh, the, the kids are there with their lanterns to darken. So the, the lanterns are a sign of the light uh, in the darkness. And we will sing songs, um, and then the play takes place, and then we go all outside with our lanterns and walk here on the farm while we are singing songs. And then afterwards, after a little walk, uh, we come back, and then there will be hot drinks and uh, some baked goods to share. So, yeah, that's how we do it. That's, uh, you can tell, you can hear your excitement. You can tell that this is really one of your favorite holidays, Karen. Uh, I love the message behind it as well. And of course, who doesn't want to get up close with a horse and pet them? Uh, do we need RSVP for this? And what's the cost? Yeah, so please RSVP uh, because we need to make sure we have enough lanterns. And then also because of COVID, uh, we, we, I mean, it's outdoors and we can accommodate a about 100 people, but we would like to know who's coming. And then, um, yeah, also afterwards, there will be hands on horses, so you can pet and, and yeah, well, there will be some activities. And uh, the cost, the suggested donation is $5 per person or $10 if you want a lantern. Bring your own lantern, that would be best. Maybe you want to grab one with your kids. Uh, it's a nice holiday for, for the adults as well. Um, yeah, so donations will go all toward our adoptive, adoptive equipment from our therapeutic riding program. And that's, uh, that's a perfect segue into my next question, Karen, which is, I mean, you guys are open year round. This sounds like a great event, a great way for someone to get introduced to Karen's Horse Connection and Legacy Stables. Tell us some of the different programs and things that you do there. Yeah, so we are year, op uh, year round open and we can do that because our big arena and uh, we have riding lessons and birthday parties and rides for everybody. But also uh, we have a therapeutic riding program. So anyone with any kind of special needs is welcome. And then we also have a vaulting program which combines gymnastics and dance on the moving horse. So basically we do all kinds of fun stuff. If you want to come and have a connection with a horse in any kind of, of, of way, you are at the right place when you come to us. Absolutely. Please contact us. Maybe check out our website. And we have uh, pretty much something for anybody. 
Thank you so much for the time this morning, Karen, and good luck with the event. That Lantern Parade, the Karen's Horse Connection and Legacy Stables happening Saturday, November 7th, this Saturday, 5.30, as Karen said, until the, it gets dark. And then, of course, the Lantern Parade happens. You want more information? Facebook.com. Just search for Karen's Horse Connection, and you'll get more information.